Kate Sidneys, and I'm a sophomore honor student at Temple University. How you tell what, where your samples were. This one has a stronger versus this one. So this one is the 12 well. And I'll run it for maybe like 10 seconds at maximum RPM. I got started in the lab uh, because I actually wrote a letter to my congressman, uh, Bill Adolf, and he actually sent my resume out to the PA Medical Association and to local area hospitals. I chose to work at Dr. Cook's lab primarily because of my dad and his battle with coronary artery disease. Um, and, but also, it was just an overall good opportunity. So, my first couple days at the lab, I was terrified. But I got started with Sam doing um, more or less real time PCR, so Paul Murray's chain reaction. So for a while, I think like about over a month, that's what I did with Sam. And then Dr. Islam started to um, ask me to do his kinds of things. Little by little, Kazi started to trust me with more and more information and more and more of his experiments until one week, I think, he left me alone, uh, completely alone. He went on vacation for a week. And he left me with a list of things to do. And he was not in the lab at all, obviously. And that, at that point, I was just really scared because I didn't want to mess anything up. And I didn't, and you know, if you screw up an experiment that takes, you know, two days, like a Western block takes two days to do that. And if you mess that up, that's two days of work down the drain. That's not really time you can get back. So I was really scared of screwing up, and I tried my best, and I would ask people for help, and eventually I got down to, to a point, or I got to a point where I was able to do his experiments pretty much by myself, with my little notebook sitting out and then open, and even though it would take me a little longer to do than maybe Kazi is used to, I was completing them with a very high rate of accuracy, with fairly good results. And Kazi was actually very surprised. It's really cool because I actually, this week in lab, you know, we did gel electrophoresis, which is basically what Sam used to do. And so I just, bam, went through that really quickly. And it was awesome because I actually knew it could apply in a real sense what I was doing in the lab to my schoolwork and vice versa. So I was uniquely equipped to deal with the lab because of, you know, and my experience doing research. The other thing that I like about working with the lab is that they did not have to accept me as an undergrad. They could have just told me to go watch them and, you know, they didn't have to do anything. And, you know, they didn't have to trust me with any of their experiments. They could have just let me watch. Every single one of those people in the lab has welcomed me as an undergrad and has actively tried to help me understand what's going on. So I feel really welcome and it's kind of like my own little research family. We have our own science jokes. I never thought that I would be doing any of this. 